Hello and welcome to another video by Johnny Science. Okay, Johnny Science. Okay, so in this video, I'll be uh, tutoring a student, Miss Han, from America. She's studying in uh, biochemistry first year, and she asked me to tutor her in organic chemistry. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, now she's uh, lucky because <laughs> this is just the beginning of the semester now, isn't it? And so we have to do quite a few, a lot of things actually, <laughs> until your final exam. Now she's at the basics. So um, tell me what you know about the basics now. <clears throat> Okay, so like um, we have atomic structure, live chemistry, carbon compound, chemical bond, octet rule, something like that. Uh, I will mean, know about the bonding and the molecular structure. Mm -hmm. Um, I just say um, I know about the atomic structure, or mm -hmm. <clears throat> it will inside? have the, the isotopes and the valence the electrons. The what? Sorry. The, the valence electrons. Yes, the valence electrons. Do you know about how to uh, write electronic uh, configuration? Electron configuration. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. I saw that on your note. How about writing Lewis structure, like the dot 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 structure? You remember that? Yeah, I would say I used to study about that, but for now, uh, I'm not sure about that. Okay. I forgot now, a little bit. If, how about chemical bonds, the octet rules? Mm, yeah, I, I, I remember that. All right, let's just try 1.3 and go from there, shall we? <clears throat> okay, let's just go so from 1.3 okay. and we go from there, okay. Okay, 1.3. You mean the chemical bonds? Yes. Okay. Why can I just... <clears throat> Alright, I can just scroll, but I don't know why I can't really scroll now. <sighs> Strange. <clears throat> Oh my god, American books, so many things you don't need. Description. Well, that add up to how much you have to pay. <laughs> it's American. For that, book. I need to pay for $80 more for a book. For words you don't need? <clears throat> <laughs> now, atomic structure, valence. Okay, chemical bonds, the octet rule. <clears throat> so, let's review a little bit. So we know about <clears throat> ionic and covalent bond, isn't it? So mm. in your note, I realized that you have learned about electro uh, negativity. Yep. Okay. Right. So what are they? What is the electro negativity? Do you remember what it is? Okay. Carbon 2.5. Oxygen 3.5, nitrogen 3.0, and hydrogen 2.2. So those are the four most prevalent elements. <clears throat> but what about them then? Oh, uh, sorry. Can you yeah. say it again? Okay, but do you remember what electronegativity is? Uh, that's it. Simply put, electronegativity, <clears throat> it's the ability of an atom to attract electrons into it. Oh, so you mean it's with to attract share electron when forming a chemical bond? Yes. It's just like okay. how atoms attract electrons to it, just like, you know, celebrity attracting people. Okay. So in that sense, fluorine, which is 4.0, maximum in the chart, fluorine, F, it's the 
superstar. Like yep. it's a superstar, like Adele, something like that. <clears throat> okay, so in that sense, so you can uh, determine the type of bonding. <clears throat> Just a moment, please. Let me mirror my screen. Screen mirroring. Mm -hmm. Why does it take a while? Interesting. Everything I don't know why, but the screen mirroring it it takes a while to load. <clears throat> okay, I'm trying to explain to you like how ionic bonds, covalent like non-covalent and um, polar covalent bonds are formed. You remember that one? Yes. Okay, covalent based on electronic right? Sorry. You mean the covalent and non-covalent electron? Yes. I also have videos before about this one. If you can check, you have time to check my uh, science channel, you can find it. <clears throat> mm -hmm. But, okay, why now I cannot just... No oh, damn. Because of the rain, it's, I think it's... Um... <sighs> Never mind, I'll use a chat function then. <clears throat> or maybe I can just share screen, but with a new function here. Oh, never mind. Okay, so if the difference, so if you take the difference between like the atoms, if the difference <clears throat> between two atoms, it's more okay. than 1.8 in electronegativity, the bond formed, <clears throat> the bond formed between them it's called ionic bond. Do you remember? Do you know this one? Yeah. Okay. I know the uh, identifier of that. Mm -hmm. Definition. Yeah. Like for example, sodium, it's zero point eight, and chlorine, which is three point five. Yeah. So the difference is like two point seven which is much more than 1.8, so it's like ionic bond, isn't it? <clears throat> so if the difference between the two atoms um, is between like 0, uh, 0 to 0 0.5 or 4, <clears throat> the bond is called nonpolar covalent, isn't it? And if it's uh, if it's between zero point five to one point eight, the bond it's called polar covalent. Do you remember this one? Yeah. Okay. Can you just give some example? Maybe some example. Mm -hmm. How can you show? Uh, for you mean for the polar? Um, just try non-polar covalent first. Like, non which elements covalent? you know that can form non-polar covalent bond? <clears throat> okay, um... It can be non-polar, like... Hydrogen? Yes, hydrogen and... Uh, oxygen, nitrogen, helium. Okay, let's try it. Hydrogen is 2.2. .2. Oxygen is like um, 3.5. Helium, it's, no, it's, it's a low noble gas. It won't form anything, right? Yeah. Noble gas. Uh, give me a second. Have you typed anything? I don't see anything in there. I am typing now. So nitrogen is 3.0. Okay. <clears throat> try them. Oh. So when we combine that? Yeah, how about between oxygen and hydrogen? What form can what bond can be formed then? HO2 H2O. Yes. Um HO or 
Can I cack cack porn in there? Say again. Can I add cack cack porn or chlorine? Sure, chlorine is like I think three point five. Yeah. Okay, let's say that between H and O, what bond is that? H and O. Yeah. Polar covalent. Yeah, because different is like one point three, isn't it? Good, very good. So between oxygen and nitrogen. Has hydrogen and no 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 hydrogen and uh, okay oxygen and nitrogen O and N. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Oh, it can be. Wait. <laughs> I forgot the number. Wait, it I, I will be there already. one point I wrote there already. something. O oh. and N. Ah, you you put it in the chat. Yes, I did. <clears throat> oh, I forgot to tell you it's in the chat. Oh, okay. It will be the polar covalent two. Well, it's between the two worlds, oh, polar or non-polar. But to be honest, it's big enough to be called polar covalent. It's like so, it's like when you have your sister and you you take like six uh, cookies and her only like four. <laughs> mm, yeah. <laughs> Similar to that, you know, when they share the electrons. Okay, now <clears throat> let's go to valence shell octet roof. So valence shell is the outermost shell electron in an atom. So that's where reaction happens. Because when a reaction happens, it's the outermost shell of the atoms that react with each other, isn't it? <clears throat> so it's a valence shell. And how about octet rules? What are they? What is the octet rule? Octet rule. Um, how can I say what that? Okay, they say here. The tendency of the rule is the tendency for an atom to achieve a configuration where its valence shell contain eight electrons. So basically, it's just a tendency to fill up like eight electrons in the um, valence shell, in the outermost electron cell shell. So eight is the magic number here. Yep. Right. So when we go to here, okay, they ask about electronegativity. Measure of the ability of an atom to attract electrons. So similar to what I said, the ability of an atom to attract electrons, just that. So, um, of course, an atom with a higher electronegativity will um, get electrons. When something with less electronegativity will give, right? Yep. So when we become an ion, when we become cation. When I first learned it like 10, no, 12 years ago, I thought it was called Cation. <laughs> cation? Yeah, because it's a Cation. I was like, and the teacher say, no, it's cation. <laughs> like vacation. <laughs> anyway, so uh, do you know like uh, the trend in the peri periodic table of the electron activity? Yeah. And how can you explain this trend then? <clears throat> like, the trend is like this. Um, going from the left to the right is increasing electro electronegativity. And going from uh, top down bottom. to up, bottom up. Bottom to top. Yeah, yeah. bottom to uh, top, it increases. But how? Why? Do you know the reason? Nah, I just remember the rule. <laughs> I don't remember the okay, reason. Okay, you really need to see my videos now. Okay, so basically, simply put, when you go from the left to the right, um, you have more electrons in the valence shell, isn't it? Or the atomous shell. Oh, okay. So the more electrons you have there, it tends to attract, it tends to attract even more electrons. 
No, or if I uh, have to draw electroconfigurations, you understand why? <clears throat> so lithium, it's like 2s1, right? Yeah, so just one, one one electron for the... Beryllium is like, beryllium is 2s2, boron it's 2s2, 2s2, 2p1. Yep. Carbon, it's uh, 2s2, uh, 2p2, nitrogen, 2s2, 2p3, <clears throat> and so on. But the thing here is, why it has to attract electrons? Because it attracts electrons to fill in the half-filled um, square something, right? Yeah. So, for lithium, okay, 2s1, it needs one more electron to achieve like a full 2s subshell. So, for beryllium, 2s2 already. For boron, now you open up the p um, orbital, isn't it? So basically, <clears throat> it goes up like this and then drop down a bit and then going up again. Yes. So the trend is like going up like this and then going down a bit and then going up like this and then going down a bit and then going up again. It's like that. So it means that fluorine at 4.0, it has the maximum electronegativity. So fluorine is like um, 2s2 to be 5, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Yes. So it means it needs one more electron to achieve the octate rule, isn't it? Because one two more? plus five, two plus five is seven. So and it needs one it more. It have one s one s two two s two two p five. I yeah. think it's enough nine. Why isn't it one more? Yeah, because two s two two p five like seven electron on the outermost shell. Ah, oh, okay. You need one so more, it right? need to enough for eight. You need one more. You need one more. Desperately yeah. need one more. Okay. So that's why fluorine is like maximum in the whole chart. It just needs so much. It they need it so much. So for lithium, let me go back to lithium, okay? Okay. So for two S one, it's easier to lose one electrons. To come back yeah. to uh, the eight electrons of the uh, or whatever the before that, right? It's easier to lose one rather than to gain seven, isn't it? <laughs> yep. So it's that's why electronegativity more. of lithium is much slower, is much smaller than in the case of fluorine. Okay. Just think about it. Is it easier to lose or is it easier to gain now to achieve the full like eight? Okay. <clears throat> if we think like that, then it's easier to understand electronegativity trend. Are you sure you get it? Yeah, I get it. Okay, got it. It's easier. Right. Yeah. How about like bottom to top so bottom to top yeah why it's like when you go down the bottom it decreases <clears throat> you know why is the the reason is the same with um like um for the lab so it need to have eight electron but mm -hmm. for the bottom to the to top like pro me no. From my... The reason is very simple, but it's a different reason, okay? <clears throat> so, like for example, for F, C, L, and B, R, they all have like, you know, um, P, 5. So, F is like 2P, 5, Chlorine is 3P, 5, Bromine is like 4P, 5. So what does it mean? The, if you go down, the, diff, the, the distance between the outermost shell and the nucleus 
just keep increasing, right? The distance. Yeah. So if you're far away from the nucleus, you are less protected. Because the electrons out there, it's very far away from the nucleus, which contains a uh, proton, isn't it? So it, it's kind of like attracting, but it's too far away. So it doesn't protect each other that much, isn't it? Um. So in that way, you can think of it like this. Because the outermost shell is very far away from the nucleus, it tends to not want to achieve one more electrons to achieve the octet that much. You know, because think about it, the nucleus has what? Neutrons and protons, isn't it? So it's positive there. Electrons negative. So the yeah. nearer you are to the nucleus, the more likely that the protons want to attract electrons for you, right? Yeah. So for Br, because it's far, very far away from the nucleus, it doesn't really want to achieve one more electrons. So that's why when you go down, decrease in electronegativity because of the oh. distance between the nucleus and the outermost shell. That's it. Okay. Yeah. So it depends on the distance. Yes, the distance as well. Distance matters. Try to date someone who is far away from you and you will see. <laughs> <laughs> Makes well, sense. I, I have a lot of uh, interesting examples. <laughs> Okay. All right, let's move on. <clears throat> so this is the formation of salt ions. Okay, so they said organic compounds, often called salt form when atoms are very different electronegativities, electronegativities transfer electron to become ions. Let's say something very low and something very high in electronegativity. They form cations and anions. So when they, go, when they get together, they have salt. Do you have the, uh, the periodic table with you? Yeah, I have it right now. Okay, please do problems 1.3 here. Practice problem 1.3. Using the periodic table, which element in each pair is more electronegative? Okay, silicon. How much is that? Group 4. Uh, so, uh, 26, uh, 28. 2.8, right? Okay. 2.8. Yes, no, and oxygen is oxygen is uh oxygen is uh group six three point five. Good. Mm. So what what kind of um, bonding is this? One point seven one wait one point seven is will be um, ionic. Ionic. Uh, no, no, it's not ionic. 3.5 minus 1.8 is 0 0.7. So it will be polar covalent. Yes. So they ask which element in each pair is more electronegative only. So of course it's um, oxygen in this case is more electronegative. But anyway, I ask you even more than that. So what kind of bonding it is? Okay, let's try nitrogen and carbon. <clears throat> C, 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 group two point five. Yes, nitrogen is and a three. So it is. So uh, point five will be polar. Uh, wait, this yes, is non-polar. -polar. And uh, the nitrogen, it's more electronegative in this case. <clears throat> okay, chlorine and bromine. Chlorine is. 3.5 and 4 bromine it's 3.9 so uh wait, wait, wait. BR, is BR. Really... be careful br br it's group 7 it's as well 2.9 2. no 
So. Ah, uh, three point oh no, two point nine, two point ninety six. So what kind of bonding is this? Uh, yeah, pole. Wait. <laughs> it will be non-polar. Well, actually, it's polar because <clears throat> the difference is like zero point six. You know, and surely chlorine wants more electron than bromine. So it's like six cookies for you and four cookies for your sisters, like that case. <laughs> so in this case, chlorine is more electronegative. Okay, try S and P, sulfur and phosphorus. Okay, it's will be non-polar. Sulfur is how much? Uh, for P is uh, two point nineteen, and for S it will be two point fifty eight. So it will Sorry, be two point... almost two point fifty eight for 58. S and two point nineteen for P. P. Okay, so this is so this uh polar. Oh no, non-polar. It's polar. It's non-polar. Kind of. <laughs> it is All right. Non-polar. Oh, okay, non-polar. And the S is more electronegative in this case. Okay, good. Now, liquid structure and covalent bonds. So, <clears throat> you know, covalent bonds is like sharing of electrons between the atoms, like sister sharing food. <laughs> But sometimes the sharing is not fair. <laughs> like one person get more than the others. So that's the case of co that's the case of uh, polar covalent bond. If the sharing is equal, that is non-polar covalent, isn't it? Hello? Uh can you repeat again? Okay, so I was talking about a sharing of electrons when we form covalent bonds, isn't it? Okay. So covalent bond mm. is formed when the two atoms, they share electrons with each other to form the bond, isn't it? Yeah. When the sharing is not very equal, like one atoms demand more electrons than the others then that sharing is polar because the one that demand more electron will have more electrons so more negative isn't it and okay. the one that gives more electrons away will be less negative okay is it understandable let i not <laughs> okay electron is negative in term of um, electricity, isn't it? Okay. So when the two <clears throat> share electrons to form the bond, if one atom give away, give up, give up more okay. electrons to form the bond, they will okay. be less negative because you're giving away a lot of electrons, isn't it? Okay. And how about when they collect one? When they collect more, they get more negative. They become more negative. Okay. Does it make sense? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> right. So, covalent bonds formed by sharing of electrons between atoms of similar electronegativities to achieve the configuration of a novel gas. So, in that case, let me uh, try to use this function now. Maybe I should stop sharing. And then when I share, share screen option. Moment. 
I can use a whiteboard, I think. Uh, maybe I can use this one. Moment. Oh, I forgot. I have to do this one. What? To share. All right, so um, let me try to draw this one. <clears throat> so we were discussing about like um, the sharing of my electrons. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's just try this case between hydrogen and car uh, hydrogen and uh, oxygen, for example. Maybe make it a bit bigger. <clears throat> no. Hydrogen and oxygen. So oxygen, you know, how many electrons does oxygen have on the outermost shell? Uh, six. six already. <clears throat> so it has two lone pairs. Uh, it will be three pair. Yes. One electron will be used to form the bonding with the hydrogen. Another one is like free here. Isn't it? For the hydrogen, it has, uh, it's a group one, right? It's just one electron. Yeah, so it gives away that electron <clears throat> to form the bond with the oxygen. But why do I draw the electron so far away from the hydrogens, but so near to the oxygen? Do you know why? No. Okay, explain me why. Because oxygen has electronegativity of 3.5. And hydrogen it's 2.2. So what does it mean? When they form the bonds, the hydrogen tends to give away electron, isn't it? And oxygen tend to gain electrons more. Okay. So in this case, because oxygen gain more electrons, so this oxygen becomes more negative in term of electricity isn't it and because hydrogen give up the electron more to form the bonds is losing that electrons away so it becoming more positive is it understandable yeah okay good there you go when you have something to explain when you have some visuals all right, <clears throat> let's try another case. So, um, in the case of, say, Cl, oh, no, no, where's my, okay. So, in the case of, say, chlorine, Cl2, so you have Cl, and Cl here. Yeah. How many electrons are there on the outermost shell Seven. of chlorine? Seven? Yeah. So when they form, you can see that there are three lone pairs yeah. and, and one, one electron here. Yeah. Like this, isn't it? But when they form the bonding, these two electrons <clears throat> in the middle have to come together. Yep. So we have a situation like this. Oh, my cat is demanding attention now. Okay. okay, so you see now the two electrons are very equally distributed among the Cl and Cl, isn't it? <clears throat> It's not near to the left or the right more, isn't it? Mm, for the left? So mm -hmm. these two dots in the middle, they are 
e evenly distributed like they are in right in the middle right between the cl isn't it yeah so <clears throat> the situation is very sim similar so cl is 3.5 3.5 so they both have the same electronegativity so they will have a very equal sharing yep. so in this case no one is more negative or positive than the others so in this it's case equal. it's non-polar covalent so what does the word polar means Polar means like one pole is positive and one pole okay. is negative, isn't it? Negative. But non-polar means it doesn't form a, a positive or negative. Is it understandable? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. good, good, good. Now let me just... <clears throat> okay, let me just... Right, just delete it. Okay. We can continue. Right. You still see my screen? Still see my screen? Mm, I just see the note. Oh, all right. I have to share screen again. All right. Now let's continue. <clears throat> right. So molecules are composed of atoms joined exclusively or predominantly by covalent bonds. Basically, most of the bond in a molecule will be covalent. Because why? Covalent is stable. It's quite stable compared to ionic or um, polar covalent, to be honest with you. That's why most of the bonds in the molecules will be covalent. All right, so the molecule can be represented by electron dot formulas, and then you have a dash structure formula. This is dash structure formula, the H and then dash and then H. But you also have the dot structure here, like what we just did. Okay, mm -hmm. can you read the example? Oh, uh, where you pond? Okay. Hydrogen yeah, be, being the the first the group first A yes. uh, of the periodic, periodic table, table has one yeah valence electron two hydrogen atoms share electrons to form a hydrogen molecule okay H two so you can see that it forms the bond so h is 2.2 another h is 2.2 so very eco sharing yeah non so it's non polar and it forms something like this but you can write like okay. h or well, then dash h okay. okay okay number two uh because chlorine is in the uh seven the group 7a this atom has seven balanced electrons. Two chlorine atoms can share electrons, uh, one electron from each, and form a molecule of chlorine. Oh, I, I gave you an example, exactly this one. <laughs> yeah. And so this is usually written like this. Okay, so the lone pair, the, the pairs of electrons that we don't use, mm -hmm. uh, just they have to write it as well. Okay, a carbon atom, group 6A, with four valence electrons can share each of these electrons with four hydrogen atoms to form a molecule of methane. Methane, yeah. Mm. So, methane it's, it's a case of carbon and hydrogen. <clears throat> so, carbon start with four electron on the outermost shell and then you have mm -hmm. hydrogen with one so you have one. you need four of them mm -hmm. to give in so you have a case like this so carbon now have eight and each hydrogen now have two 
2 and 8 are basically stable. So you can have this kind of structure, methane, CH4, like this. Okay. But you can also write like this. C and then, you know, yeah. line like this. All right, let's move on. Two carbon atoms can use. Okay, so between two carbon atoms, you can also form carbon-carbon single bonds like this. So look at this case. <clears throat> you see that the carbon on the left has eight already, isn't it? Yeah. The carbon on the right also has eight electrons. Yeah, and, it, and so they, have they are both things. stable. Consider the octet rules. The hydrogen all have two. Is enough. Uh, so we have something like this: C two H six X C two H six. But you can write it like this, dash, 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 like this. Okay. So the dot structure are called Lewis dot structure, or we call them Lewis structure as well, by the name of a, of a person, a scientist named Lewis. Okay. Um, you can write like this, or you can write it like that. So unshared electron pairs are shown as dots. Uh, so unpair or unshare I'll show at dots like this dots these are unshared and the one that is shared you write uh, it as a line mm -hmm. so that's why in nitrogen uh, N, N2 the three so the six electrons here that form the bonds are represented at like three lines but yeah. these unpairs are just their unpairs so okay. atoms can share two or more pair of electrons to form multiple covalent bonds so you can have like double bond or triple bond so if they share like three each of them like this you have triple bond between them you can have double bond between them if they share four you know okay yep okay okay spend some time to look at them please just to get used to them i think so you want to read it mm -hmm. just read it please uh carbon atoms can also share more than one electron pair with another atom to form a multiple covenant bonds Consider the example. Uh, it's multiple covalent bond. B bond. Bond. Mm -hmm. Consider the example of a carbon carbon double bond in ethane. Um, and 18. a carbon bond, carbon bond, triple bond in ethane. Uh, this is a uh, ethine. Ein, ethine. Ethine. Okay. Ethine. Or, Acetylene, acetylene. Acetylene. Acetylene is basically the gas that we that people use to weld stuff, like uh, you know welders, right? Those kind yeah. of sound, yeah, welders. So that's the gas that people use to weld things together. Okay. And the gas, when we burn it, it can produce a flame of a temperature about 2,000 to 3,000 degrees Celsius. So that's why you can melt metal. You can melt them together. All right, so look at this case. Carbon. Okay, sometimes when you look at this one, it's a bit hard to imagine. But let me um, share the screen for you again. again why do i always have to install the plugin again i don't know why the asset okay screen mirroring okay so it's the case of nitrogen when they form the bond together
So nitrogen, which group is nitrogen then? Uh, nitrogen is uh, the seven. No, it's group five. Oh, yeah, five, 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 sorry. Okay. Five, five. Okay, I'm telling my cats to get out because she's being annoying. I'm just jumping on my lap and demand things, but she's annoying now. Anyway, so uh, it has five. So imagine, you can imagine it, it could be like this, right? Yes. But no, nitrogen don't form a single bond like this to each other in this case of N3, no, of N2. It doesn't form a single bond like this. So it has to form a triple bonds. So in this case, it will be like that. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. moment I should uh, write in a clearer way so so in this way it has less unpaired electrons nobody wants to have something that is lonely and then left out isn't it because if you have like unpaired electrons it doesn't form any bonding isn't it Okay. And we don't want them to uh, to be hanging around like that, forming no pairs. So that's why we have this case of nitrogens forming like triple bonds with each other, isn't it? Do you understand it? Huh? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. So the rule here to form this kind of like... <clears throat> molecule is to assure that there's not too many lone pairs. Nobody wants to be lonely, you know? <laughs> yeah. Everyone wants to form a connection. <laughs> be in a relationship. Nobody wants to be lonely. <laughs> Makes sense. Anyway, so uh, in the case of acetylene, Oh dear, I have to delete this one. Now, in the case of acetylene, how about that? Um, C2H6. <clears throat> so carbon, carbon, H, H, H. Okay, so carbon start with um, start with four, isn't it? So you see, surrounding this carbon on the left, you have already four things surrounding it, right? Yeah. So, which indicate that for each of them, each of the atoms they form, uh, they will give one electron into the mix. So one, two, three, Ooh. and four, isn't it? Yeah. Hydrogen will give away one of the electron because group one. One, two, three, Okay, so for the carbon on the right, the same situation applies. So it will um, give away, uh, we will have four electrons to begin with as well. One, two, three, and four, isn't it? So those electrons belong to this carbon.
for the hydrogen here, they will also give away one, two, three. So the carbon on the right is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight octate, full octate already, right? Yeah. So everyone's happy. Yeah. Now, so <clears throat> how do you write the dash structure? Because there is no lone pair at all left over. So you don't have any dots left. So it's just like this. So we can use the line. Single bond. Or... Yeah. Mm -hmm. C, single bond, C. And then single bond with H. Single bond H. Yeah, like this, isn't it? You got it, right? Yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Right, okay. Let's come back to this one. Right. Oh, a time. So for a time, it's the same thing. They, the C is like one for hydrogen and three for forming the triple bonds. Okay. So in this case, C have two plus six is eight. This one is also eight as well. All right, so ions, the, okay, let's look at the case of ions, okay? Yeah. Uh, can you read it, please? Iron. Iron themselves may contain covalent bonds. Consider an example of uh, the ammonium ion. Mm -hmm. Okay, ammonium ion, NH4. So, NH4 plus. So, what does the plus here mean? Well, it means something. <clears throat> It's at one electron. Yes. Okay, so NH4 plus. Let me stop sharing and then let me share again with this one. And then, of course, they ask for plug in again. Why? I think it must have been like a Zoom error. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Okay, so NH4. Plus. So what does a plus on it mean? Okay, so nitrogen, it start with um, how many? Uh, nitrogen. You mean the nitrogen? Uh, yes. Nitrogen. Uh, it said, uh, no, it's five. Of course, it's five. So it starts with five, mm, but you have four hydrogen around it. So interesting situation, isn't it? <laughs> Let's say if each of them receive one, so there's one electrons left here on this nitrogen that doesn't form any bonding at all and it doesn't form any lone pairs at all, isn't it? Yeah. So in this case, what does happen? <clears throat> Each of these hydrogen will give its own electrons. So this, in this case, the nitrogen has an extra electron that it doesn't use. Yeah. So this, uh, this explains something that the plus, where the plus comes from. Okay, <clears throat> let me go back to here. So let's explain where the plus comes from. So if you uh, write it again, it's going to be like this. Dash, uh, what's it called? Dash formula. And you have a plus. Isn't it? 
Mm -hmm. Because here, bond, 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 it's form a plus. And then there's an extra electron that nitrogen doesn't use. So there's a plus there. Isn't it? All right. Maybe the next time I can use a whiteboard function of um, Zoom. Maybe you can mm -hmm. try the whiteboard function. Now, but uh, let's see this exercise now. Consider the following compound and decide whether the bond in them would be ionic or covalent. Okay, so how do you know if it's ionic or covalent? Do you remember what I said? Uh, like uh, one one positive and one negative, it will be polar, but for two the same, it will be non-polar. Well, they say, okay, read the question carefully. Consider the following compound and decide whether the bond in them, not the molecule, the bond in them will be ionic or covalent. So it means you have to keep these pens on the difference in electronegativity, you know, the yeah. bond in them, not the whole molecule. So K, how much is K, how much is CL? Uh, for K, it should be 0. 0.82. And 0. 0.8, right? 0. 0.8, right? Yeah, 0. 0.8. And okay. for chlorine, it should be uh, 3.16. 16. Uh, 3.5. Oh, sorry. Okay, so what kind of bond is this? Ionic. Of course it's ionic. This one, the yeah. KCl, is a salt. Ionic yeah. compound forms salt. Okay, how about F2? Non-polar. Of course. It's 4 and 4. So 4.0, 4.0, non-polar. How about pH? Three. This is a toxic compound. Polar. Polar. Are you sure? Wait. It's three point nine and two point two. It's Wait. P is uh, P is how much? Three point. You mean P? P. Uh, phosphorus. P phosphorus. Two, two point two. Two point. What? Phosphorus? Are you sure? Two nineteen. 290, right? 219. 19 or 90? 19. 2.19. Okay, good. You see, sometimes sometimes words can be confusing. It's 19, it's E, but 90 is not prolonged. So one is longer, one is not long. 90 or 19, you know. Yeah, so it's very similar. So what is this? Non-polar? Non-polar, of course. Non-polar covalent. How about CBr4? CBr4 is, um, it will be non-polar too. Wait. Br is like 2.8, right? Yeah, non-polar. Yeah. Br is, uh, 2.9. 2.96. Wow, that's almost yes. like yeah. 3.0. It's like borderline between non-polar and polar, but I would say polar. Because 0 yeah. 0.5 difference, like, you know, at the border <laughs> between non-polar or polar, yeah. But I would say polar. Okay. Polar covalent. But the question asked them whether the bond would be ionic or covalent. So it means that uh, it doesn't matter if it's non-polar or a polar covalent, it's still covalent bond anyway. Yeah. So, so BCD is... In all of them, only just, KCL, um, only KCL is ionic. The other ones yeah. are covalent. Are covalent. Yep. Now, how to write Lewis structure? These are the steps. Can you read it, please? Uh, Lewis structure show the connection between atoms in a molecule or ion using only the valence electrons of the atoms involved. 
valence electron are those of an atom's outermost she shell. From main group elements, mm -hmm. the number of valence electrons a neutral atom brings to a liquid structure is the same as its group number in the periodic table. Okay, so number two is uh, what I asked you, like which group does it belong to? So if group five, for example, it brings five electrons, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you get it, okay. So Lewis structure, the dot, dot, dot things, it show exactly how the atoms connect to each other. Using only the valence electron with atoms involved or using only outermost shells electrons of the atoms involved. Now, so I said carbon four, group four, hydrogens, for example, fluorines, group seven A, each has seven valence electron, hydrogen group two. Okay, we know this one already. Okay, yeah. number three. If the structure we are drawing is a negative ion, an anion, we add one electron for each negative charge to the original count of valence electrons. If the structure is a positive, positive ion, a cation, we subtract one electron for each positive charge. Mm -hmm. uh, in drawing liquids, Liquid um, structure, we try, to, mm, we try to give each atom the electron conf configuration of a noble gas. Noble gas is eight, you know. So noble gas group eight, so it means we try to give each atom an electron configuration of eight. Because eight is a magic number. <laughs> Octate, octa mean eight, you know. Octate rules okay. means the rule of eight. Yeah. To do so with a structure where atoms share electrons to form common bonds or transfer electrons to form ions. So let's say if the sharing between the atoms are kind of equal, then that is covalent. But if one person have nine cookies, for example, and another person has only one, that is extremely unfair. One. That is extremely unfair, right? Yeah. And that is ionic. Okay. <coughs> I have a funny story. Even though sometimes the sharing is very unfair in ionic, it forms the positive and the negative um, attraction, right? Between positive and negative charge, attraction. So it's very similar to toxic relationships. <laughs> you heard about toxic relationship with a lot of dramas, right? Yeah. <laughs> so they they are not fair of course they are not fair toward each other but still they are toxic and a lot of the time they still stay together <laughs> so this is weird but this is a real life application <laughs> so a positive and a negative thing we always attract each other even though they don't share equally at all <laughs> this is also the case when like similar to the case when you know very poor and a very rich man, very poor person, but very beautiful, and a rich man, but ugly, <laughs> they can still attract each other. Does it make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. I'm trying to explain like Ionic, how can it still like forming bonding, even though like it's still unfair. The sharing is very unfair in this case. Okay. Yeah. Now, so in drawing level structure, we try to give each atom an electron configuration of noble gas, so eight. Okay. Okay, let's just read this rule now. A. Hydrogen atoms, <clears throat> hydrogen forms.
I think you need to know this rule, so... Okay. So Harajan is like, uh, we'll try to have two. It has one to begin with, try to have two. The same number as in noble gas helium. Carbon has four to begin with. It will try to, to have eight by forming like four valent electrons from another atom. So that's why carbon will kind of hook up with four other things surrounded it. Surround it. Yeah. Numbers so C, uh, nitrogen, oxygen, halogen typically share only some of the valence electrons. So nitrogen has five, oxygen has six, halogen has seven, but they don't form like six, five, six, or seven bonding with other things. They don't. Some of the electrons that they have will be unpaired uh, so it will be uh, like pairs lone pairs or unshared electron pairs like for example nitrogen typically share three electrons El oxygen typically share two electrons two. halogen is only one the following problem mm -hmm. illustrate the rules above oh no write the Lewis structure of CH3F so we have a strategy here. First, we find the total number of valence electrons of all the atoms. So C is 4, H is 1, but there are 3 of them. 4 plus 3 times 1. F is 7. So all of them together, we have 14 dots. 14 dots or 14 valence electrons to begin with. Yeah. Number two, we use pairs of electrons to form bonds between uh, all atoms that are bonded to each other. So, of course, you, you know that C is going to be the central atom, the, the one in the middle, in this case. And surrounding it, four things, 3H, three 3H, three and 1F. Um, we represent these bonding pairs with lines like this. So in our example, this requires four pairs of electrons. So four pairs of electrons. So every of these lines is a bond. So four of them times two, that's eight electrons, right? Yeah. So out of eight of the 14 that we know from here. So, so where's the other six? The remaining six valence electrons will be assigned to the fluorine because hydrogen it has two already each of them has two already do it so they don't want any more so the only option left now is the fluorine so we can assign the remaining six valence electrons to the fluorine atoms so there will be three lone pairs three lone pairs it's an easy example right yeah yeah but in real life let's see <laughs> can you try practice problem 1.5 write a legal structure of uh, ch2f2 or difluoromethane and chloroform chcl3 please try it so totally have 22 electrons so 22 dots. Six, six plus, oh yeah, 20. 20, 12. 22. Mm -hmm. So, 
does it appear the double bond? No, there's no double bond. All of them have single bonds only. Because you know the C, it's like it can form four bonding with the others. So two hydrogen, two fluorine, it's like four already, right? So for B also, there are four things surrounding the carbon. So there's no double bond at all. <clears throat> so, um, how can I show you? Well, I think because you're not a host. Okay, let me, um, okay, I already said you can show me now. I can stop a share screen and you can click on the share screen, then uh, click on whiteboard. Try it. Where is that? Okay, click on the green button, whiteboard. share screen, okay. and yeah, click on whiteboard. It. Okay, I saw it. Okay, okay you good. see it? All right, I saw it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I tried my best. <laughs> okay, everyone tried their best. Okay. I think we can okay. use the whiteboard function, it's faster. Even though not necessarily mm. better. Okay. Seven. Okay, we have so, another F, I think. I believe we have another F. Two F, yeah. Yeah, so. <clears throat> For F, it just have seven electrons. Yes. <clears throat> You're right. C is enough. H is enough. C is and enough, yes. That one. But yes. for F, it... You have two electrons. You haven't put in the F at the bottom. Two? Yes, that's Thank correct. You. Okay, count so again. I think one line is two dots, right? Yeah, two lot two dots. Eight plus six plus six. It's exactly twenty. So I have a question like yes. one line is two dot, yes. but for fluorine it just have uh, seven electrons, so we need to add one. Okay. Maybe I see it have eight electrons. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. I, I, I mm -hmm. understand. Like uh, one electron will share with one electron here, so okay. it's added this line. Okay. And the next one is CHCl3. Do you want to write to? Yes, please. Okay. My cats are being agitated. Okay. Correct. Okay, correct. Okay. You got it right. Okay. Now I can stop the share screen. Okay. All right, so we can come back to my... Okay, good. <clears throat> that's good, that's good. Now, so... 
Okay, so we have another case that is a liquid structure for methylamine. Methylamine CH3 and H2. So in this case, it can be tougher because you have more things to consider. Yeah. Um, so you know the hydrogen is always the one on the outside. So in this case, the C and the N will be connected to each other at the center yeah. of the molecule. So same um, strategy, C is four, N is five, hydrogen is one each, so about five of them. So mm -hmm. nine plus five is 14. So you have seven pairs. And we use one electron pair to join the bond between the carbon and nitrogen. So we have six pairs left. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Uh, one, two pairs to form a single bond between nitrogen atom and two hydrogen atoms. So it this okay, leaves one that. electron pair, which is a lone pair of nitrogen atoms. Hmm. Okay. So if you read it again, if you see it again, so uh, each of the line here. It's like two, so two, four, yeah. six, eight, six. Uh, ten, twelve, Twelve and, and two more is fourteen. 14. So seven pairs. <clears throat> so this is a strategy. An answer. Um, the question here is how do you know that between the C and the N is a single bond or double bond? Because uh, when we connect C and N, and C need to connect with H2, and when three, C connect three, three, three. with, yeah, three H. So uh, when 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 C connect with three H, it will be three electron in there. So it's just one left. Exactly. So that's connect, why. Yeah. Just one in there. If if exactly. we add one for the double, it will be um uh extra for two. Mm. So it yeah. cannot the double bond. Cannot be double bond. Yeah. Okay, you got it. Very good. Now please write a little structure of CH three OH, which is methanol, oh, yeah. a very uh, is a toxic chemical. Okay. C H three OH. C H three is with O first. A lot of things you're drawing uh, are actually toxic. <laughs> <laughs> H, H, with one H in here too. Uh, so um, this four is two. Uh, but in here is mid one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, enough. Does it correct? Mm hmm. Okay. Mm, let me show me through the um okay i'll stop the share okay you can do it again whiteboard okay oh, yeah it's it? correct it's correct okay. okay correct now we can stop again and you guys can share again okay now um number five if necessary we use multiple bonds there you go now you come the case of multiple bonds to satisfy the optic rules in other words, give atom the noble gas configuration. So we have a case of carbonate ion. Carbonate ion is CO3 2 minus. <clears throat> so you see, surrounding this carbon, there are three things now, isn't it? Uh, three carbon connect. So it needs two electrons. So what are you asking?
Okay, I read it. All right, you got it. Yeah. Carbonate ions. It. Okay. <clears throat> One thing about a carbonate ion I want to show you is that, okay, the oxygen on top has one uh says six electrons uh no uh, eight electrons right yeah. yeah but the oxygen on the top uh, bottom left and bottom right it doesn't have enough you can see here <clears throat> so you can see here um okay they do have eight they do have eight as well but something wrong that makes it into two minus for the whole ion something Something was, uh, yeah. Something went wrong there. Anyway, let's look at the um, organic molecules eighteen and ethine. C2H4 and C2H2, as mentioned earlier. They have a double bond, triple bond, respectively. <clears throat> okay, and then you are asked to write the Lewis structure of uh, formaldehyde CH2O. <coughs> Stride up. Okay, I draw that. <clears throat> yeah, sure. Okay, I can stop share now and you can share them. Ah, uh, you should share the wrong one. Okay, just um, stop, stop and then it. share the right the whiteboard. Oh, everyone's using mm -hmm. my book now. I feel very ancient. <laughs> mm -hmm. I feel like an ancient um, homo mm -hmm. sapient. <laughs> Can you repeat the formula? Second, C um, formaldehyde CH two O. CH two O. Is correct. Yeah, I'm there. Is it good? Yes, I think so. Yeah, it is. Good. Very good. You can stop share now. Okay. I think I think one person can only share um, only one person can share at a time. So if I share when your screen is sharing now, you will lose that sharing. I think. So I don't have to ask you to share again. I think now. So it's um, like this. Yeah, correct. Okay, practice problem one point seven. Write a dash. Okay, so they ask you to write a dash. Okay, not the dot again. So you have to write a dash. Structural formula showing all valence electrons for um, acetaldehyde CH3 CHO. So now you can just click on share screen and whiteboard. I don't have to stop share. Try it, please. <clears throat> you see just it? Click, just click on share screen and uh, whiteboard. Yeah, yeah, I already. But you see it? I, don't see, not? I don't see anything weird. Ah, maybe see, because I'm the host, I think. Maybe because I'm a host. Okay, anyway, I have to stop share. Okay, okay. now please share again. Here. Okay, good. Now CH3, CHO. So. CH3, CHO. 
<laughs> it's fine. <laughs> this is not like pen and pencil, uh, pen, yeah. pencil, and, and papers like we are used to. Wait. Something wrong, right? Something seriously yeah. wrong. Because oxygen cannot have that ma many. <laughs> yeah. The and the C is lacking. This one is, yeah, yeah. it's mixed one. So no. what's your uh, what's your solution? Wait. Wait. One, two, three, four. Yeah. C H three C O H. Something's seriously wrong too, because the C ah. in the middle it's like lacking too. So the solution is very simple. The H should not be there. The H should be in the C in the middle. Yeah, here. Yeah. <clears throat> oh. Okay. I think for the la for the next time we can use the whiteboard function. It's faster. I don't have to click on the iPad and things like that. You know? C at three C. But C is not enough. So the here. There you go. It's enough now. Yeah. Two, four, six. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the oxygen needs two more six, dots. Eight. There you go. Okay, six, got six, it. Eight, yeah. Okay, let's count again. Let's count again. Make sure everything's correct. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. Oh, what? Eight, four, Eighteen, yeah. Eighteen. Okay, good. <clears throat> okay, good. That's the correct one. All right. Now, number six. Step number six. Before we can write something with structures, we must know how the atoms are connected to each other. Oh, thank you for telling me that. <laughs> so, consider the case of nitric acids, or HNO3. So even though the formula for it's HNO3, but the, the hydrogen is not actually connected to the N, but it's connected to the O. How we know it? Well, we just have to know it. <laughs> <laughs> so the structure is OH, OHO, and NO2, but not HNO3. Thus, the correct Lewis structure is like this and not that. It's like in this case, the nitrogen is surely the central atom, right? That will connect all the three oxygen. <coughs> Okay, just just try to draw, just try to draw them, and you will see what they mean. And my cat is demanding so much attention and food now. <clears throat> Even though they have food, but they want more. They want better. They want more. You have cat too? I have three cats. I have oh. one too. I adopt. Oh, you adopted one? And mm -hmm. Okay, here's one of them, my glorious Siamese cat. Oh, it's my yeah. just four months. Say again? My cat is just four months. Oh, so it's just like 11 just months small. now. Ooh. 11 months now. Ooh. Okay. <clears throat> and I'm begging my cat to let me work. 
Just don't bother me. Okay. Just of course, look by doing it. Ionic molecule. <coughs> okay, I read it already. Yes, so you got it uh, the right structure yet? Yeah? Remember, the nitrogen has to always be um, in the middle, and now it's surrounded by three oxygen, and hydrogen is always like the the one, you know, outside. <coughs> it's only for HNO three. It's only for the nitric acid or. For other cases, you will see, for example, H two S O four. Okay, try to draw H two S O four. SO4. Try to draw, draw H2SO4 and you will see an H2NO, uh, H2CO3. H2SO4 and H2CO3. It's the same case. So we need to connect with oxygen with the H? Yeah, same thing. This is so one so the one o will be between the hydrogen you are doing the s uh, the h2so4 right yeah okay show me share okay you can just um okay um h is o mm -hmm. so the s or s s o o it's so sad o and okay, one more h okay one more H will be have to connect to an O, another O, yeah? Here? No, not there. No, no here. here. It's there. Um, <clears throat> o or S is enough. H is going O to this. Something's missing. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> okay, how many valence electrons are there in total? And you see something's missing. Uh, two, uh, six, about four, two, S, six, two. So it will be 32, but two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, uh, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two. Oh. <clears throat> 
Of course. Now, so <clears throat> you can see that uh, in these kind of um, structures where the central atom is connected to oxygen, a lot of the case you can find double bonds. So the hint here is that there's a double bond between the S and the O on top and the S and the O at bottom. Like yes, yes, and count again. Well, these two the oxygen on the left and the oxygen on the right also need two more electrons, <clears throat> two dots, two more dots. Dot, mm. dot, dot, dot. Yeah, okay, now count again. You will see. <clears throat> Yeah, it's enough. There you go. So for these molecules where you have a central atom connected to oxygens, a lot of a case it could be double bonds. Just remember that. All right. So let's try H two CO three for example. That's an easier example. H two CO three. No. H two CO three. H two CO one H right here. <coughs> no. Oh, no. 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 Right. Right. Let's see. No. Remember, for this H kind of these are acids, so the H will have to connect to the oxygen. Over here. Not there. It's the oxygen on top or bottom. It's up to you. <clears throat> okay, good. Now, uh, that oxygen doesn't have a double bond, yeah? Ah, uh, here. Uh, here. Nope. It has to be the oxygen at the bottom that has a double bond, yeah? Remember, yeah, oxygen typically, oxygen typically form two bonds only. Remember, oxygen typically form only two bonds in a molecule. So that's why I prevented you from writing like a double bond uh, to the oxygen on the left, right? Mm. Hello? You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. <clears throat> it's like the oxygen typically form two bonds only. So that's why when you write the double bond to the oxygen on the left, I said no because of that. All right, good now. It's good now. Just one more, just two more, two more over there. Yeah. And then two molon pairs on that oxygen yes and down there two more molon pairs that's one. Huh? Two, two, two. yep okay count again and you will see that everyone is happy just count the, uh, the uh, valence electron and you will see that everyone's happy now Oh, total is 24. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> is it the same? Yeah. yeah. Good. There you go. You understand it now. Very good. <clears throat> okay. Now, so... Wait a moment. I, if I said it that both of us can share screen, then if I stop my share screen, I can see your screen. You don't have to always share. Okay. Ah, so you can just keep your share screen and uh, I can just stop my share and then I go, I see your screen, something like that, I think. Okay. okay. That's excellent. Huh? 
All right, so solve problem 1.4. Okay, assume that the atoms are connected in the same way. They are written in the formula. And write a Lewis structure for the toxic gas hydrogen cyanide, HCN. <clears throat> so strategy and answer, HCN, so 1, 4, Five, so it's ten valence electrons, mm. and then we use one. Okay, hydrogen form one bonds, so C has three left, so it has to form the triple bonds with the nitrogen, isn't it? My cat doesn't know. <clears throat> My cat doesn't know that I have to work. If I don't work, I would not have enough food for you. So you better behave. Yeah, you better behave. Mm. <sighs> they have been so agitated today. I don't know why. And one of them actually, they poop in the toilet, but not in their litter box. <laughs> I have to clean it later. I have to clean it later. So annoying. But you like it. Sorry? But you like it. Uh, I like cats, not uh, the part I have to clean them. That's the reason that I, I, I cannot raise them. It's just a cat of my friend and they just bring it to me to, to play, but I cannot clean anything. Oh. <clears throat> I scared to cleaning. Having cat is like having children, babies. Oh. Yeah. Similar. More. And then, okay, so write Lewis structure of each of following. Um, let's try all of those, and then we end the lesson here. I think. Okay. Okay. Let us share. Um, I can stop share. Oh, can you? Uh, oh, wait, 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 right here, I have. Oh, you have a physical book at your place, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. H F F Office uh, uh, seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Mhm. Mm F two is here. Is ah uh, so. Can you trickle and here, 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 here? <coughs> it's like seven, so three here and two more. No, it doesn't work that way because you see F, it's too much now. <coughs> and remember, F. halogen, F is a halogen. So halogens, group 7A, typically form only like a single bond with each other, remember? Only single Halogen. bond? Typically form only single bonds, yeah. So what okay. does it mean? A lot of lone pairs. There you go. Okay. Uh, C, H, 3, F. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. H. <coughs> H and O two. I think something wrong so, with your previous structure of uh. Wait, is it CH three? Oh, just, just one. Wait. Oh yeah. Just one. Just one in here, but for the H. I make it longer so it okay. look like two. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Uh, HNO2, so <coughs> O2. HNO2 is actually an acid, it's called a nitrous acid. So, in that case of acids, the H always connected to o oxygen, o right? Yep. Okay. 
I consider that. Okay, so it's look like that. This is enough. So the bottom here, one here, one two. Okay, so it's look like that. No, it's just wait. Four, five. So one pawn in here. <clears throat> Nearly. But the oxygen on mm -hmm. the left, it should not have like three bonding like that, remember? Oxygen typically form two bondings only. <clears throat> okay. So Okay, I think you what you are missing now is that the rules of the atoms. So oxygen typically form two bonds only when you wrote there three. So delete one bond from there. Yes. Okay. Now it works now. <clears throat> so what happens here? You mean it just just can have two lines? Yes. For, nine, for oxygen. Oh, and yeah. For hydrogen, it's only one, yeah. Okay, so what left now is the higher, is the nitrogen. So two in here, right? Yes, correct. Okay. Okay, let's move on to another case. My agitated cats. <clears throat> Should I treat you to a nice lunch? Hmm? And then they will demand more. Sometimes cats can be very ungrateful. <clears throat> oh, do you remember this is an acid, right? We you draw this one, you drew this one uh, just a moment ago. H2SO4. So basically, the H has to connect to an O. Say again? Yeah. H connect O with an O. Yeah. Okay, so. Um, H O S O three H two S O three. This should be. You mean the H is cannot be here, right? No, it has to be connected to one of the O that remains. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Okay. How about writing an H at the oxygen uh, down there? You mean here? No, bottom. Oxygen at the bottom. Yeah. yeah. Okay, one H there. <coughs> one H right here, one more. <clears throat> Correct. Now, to fill it in the oh, pairs. Yeah. It's two pairs in here and two pairs in here. And two pairs in here too. Yes, and two dots uh, down there too. Oxygen on the left. Yeah. Two dots, two more dots. Yeah. Two more? Yes. How about the oxygen at, on the top? You remember oxygen typically form two lines or two uh, bonds. But it has only oh, one. Okay. Now. So it's just double bond, one, two double, more, bond double bond, double bond. I don't know. Oh, for double the S is one. So this double bond. Double bond. Yeah. 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 Y
Yes. <clears throat> oh. Yes, correct. Okay. okay, correct. Now everyone is happy with H2SO4. Okay. okay, anything else? Uh, yeah, it's two more in a second. I know that one. Okay. Uh, BH, BH4. B H four B H four and step minus. So uh for B it's just three and right here we need that one. Yes, as a minus. To put the minus. Yeah, Very because good. it it's it have one electron left in here. It's just have three electrons. Electron. Yes. Yeah, okay. Okay, the next one. Uh, Wait, why is it a minus? It should be plus, right? Is it uh, yeah, yeah. Plus, 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 plus. Yeah. yeah. H, at 3 p o 4 okay. At o p uh o phosphoric acid h 3 po 4 o o <coughs> h h okay p is uh is five so it should have double bond right double bond with the oxygen yeah. yeah right here okay correct and, and now you have to fill two, in with the dots. Even though it looks yeah. funny, but here, 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 and this two, two. Correct. Okay. 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 <clears throat> one more, right? Yeah. yeah. Give me a second to write out that one. Mm -hmm. Coughing now. Sleepy. <laughs> oh. I be, uh, beside from make from uh, teaching, I also make videos to support my students. So I I, I have oh. to speak a lot. You okay. remember I, I teach science and I also do piano and IELTS teaching as well. Piano. Yeah, I teach the piano. I play piano professionally. You don't know that. Oh, I play piano too, but not professional. How long have you played piano for? Uh, I studied that when I was a kid. I I study in the church. I'm oh. Catholic. Oh, I see. Yeah. Have you have you learned the piece Ave Maria by uh, Go Go Nord? For the first time, I study is the the organ and. And synthesizer. Yeah, long, synthesizer. Yeah. yeah, and for a long time I will study self study for piano. So self study I just is actually like, the key, the way to go. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> that's why. I also self taught too. It's been eighteen years. Oh wow, eighteen. Eighteen wow. years, and I have some years of stage experience. So I have been playing in town, and bars, and you know places. Uh, something wrong with oxygen on the left. The left. Uh, no double bond because uh -huh. it's uh, yeah, there's the room. So right here. Mm. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, two more here. But for this one, it makes one. Ah, oh, one edge. Something wrong, it's an acid. Oh, wait. So, oh, uh, with the O. Yeah, it has to be somewhere with O. <coughs> H, 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 H. Uh, H. H. All right, and something wrong with the O on top? <coughs> uh, it's just too long here. So double bar, eh? And. And now everyone is happy. Okay. It's H two CO three. I still feel like you need more practice, because you're That's still right. requiring my hints. So, <clears throat> so, 
So I'll send you a few videos from my son's channel and you can practice on that. Okay, I will Is everything for tomorrow. Yeah, to, uh, no, no, not tomorrow. It's Thursday, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But for we'll tomorrow, for it's self study. I don't Thursday. need to go to, the, to, to, to school. Yeah. So Tuesday, okay. Thursday, and Friday, 10 o'clock. Okay. Um, okay. Right. Let me send you. Okay. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow then. Okay. Okay. That's the end of my videos. Please like, share this video with your friends, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and press on the bell button next to the subscribe button so you can get notified about my new uploads, okay? You can also follow, press follow my Facebook, but please don't add me on Facebook as friends, okay? Cảm ơn các bạn đã theo dõi nha. Các bạn hãy nhấn vào like, chia sẻ video này bạn bè các bạn. Nhấn vào nút đăng ký kênh YouTube mình và nút cái chuông kế bên cạnh để đăng ký kênh đó, để mà các bạn có thể được thông báo về những video mới nha. Các bạn cũng có thể nhấn vào nút theo dõi Facebook mình nhưng nhớ đừng kết bạn Facebook mình nha. Thank you and see you. Bye.